In this problem, we're told to estimate the stiffness of the spring in a child's pogo stick if the child has a mass of 35 kilograms and bounces once every two seconds. So how do we solve this problem? So what we're trying to do in this problem is solve for k. And so we're given, right, so let's write down our given. We're given the mass of the child, which is going to be 35 kilograms, right? And then we're also given, uh, they bounce every two seconds. And when they say bounce every two seconds, essentially what they're doing here is giving you the period. And we do know that by t, so we know the period is equal to two seconds. All right, so what are we solving for? We're trying to solve for the stiffness of the spring. And so essentially what that means is we're solving for the constant k. So we're trying to solve for k. And so what we want to do is find a formula that relates all these variables. And so there is a formula that relates all of them, which is essentially t is equal to 2 pi times the square root of m over k. So this is the formula you should know. And so what we can do is relate all these variables, right? We have t, we have m, and we can solve for k just by manipulating the equation. Right, and so that's exactly what we're going to do. So just divide both sides by 2 pi. Right, This side will cancel. So t over 2 pi is equal to the square root of m over k. Uh, we can square both sides to get rid of the square root. So it's going to become t squared over 2 pi squared is just going to be 4 pi squared. Right, Just square both terms. It equals m over k. Uh, and then we can multiply both sides by k. And then what we want to do is divide both sides by this. Right. Uh, so you're going to get k equals, right? And so since you're dividing by this, you're going to multiply the, uh, you're, right? So you're doing m over t squared divided by uh, 4 pi squared. So essentially you just multiply uh, m times 4 pi squared, and then that's going to be divided by t squared. You should know how to manipulate this stuff by now. But yeah, so it's just m times 4 pi squared over t. Right, so this right here is your formula, and so what we have to do is just plug in now. So k is going to be equal to m, uh, the mass of the child is 35 kilograms, times 4 pi squared, all over uh, t, which is the period, which is 2 seconds. So you're just going to want to go ahead and do this, 35 times 4 pi squared, uh, and then divide that by... Alright, so this is actually t squared, sorry. It's 4 m times 4 pi squared over t squared, and then divide by uh, t squared, right, which is just... Uh, t is 2, so it's 2 squared, so this is just 4. Sorry about that mistake. Uh, I caught it, though. So essentially, it's just 35 times 4 pi squared, and then divided by 4, right? Because it's t squared. Uh, but yeah, so just do k, do all this, and then you're going to get 1381.74 uh, uh, 4, 6, and so on, and then divided by 4. And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get k equals 345. 0.436154. So this right here is going to be uh, your answer, right? And then keep in mind k, we measure it in Newton meters. So this is, uh, right, so you can round however you want, uh, whatever your teacher wants you to do, but just keep in mind this is in Newton meters, right? So this right here is 345.43 and so on, uh, Newton meters. So this right here is the stiffness, right? The estimated stiffness of the spring. But yeah, so this is your answer and hopefully you've made, uh, found this useful.